What is going on lads and welcome back to the Sunday episode of Pokemon FIFA in the City app. This is episode 8 and if you remember from last episode we've just gone into this Diglett's cave so we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring hopefully getting over to the next city where we can face a gym leader and we come into a random battle now. This guy has got a pretty decent bronze team. We are still all non-rare, all rare bronze sorry if you remember from the last episode and you can see he's got a really good Korean team apart from one Norwegian guy I think that is up front so it's going to be a pretty tough game as I have used the Korean team before and I do know that they are particularly good and you can see he gets off to a flying start in the ninth minute breaking through on goal with a guy's name who I'm not even going to try and pronounce tramps it when it wasn't really on and just about manages to squeeze it into the near post to get himself a nice one nil lead now we are going to hit back straight away Troyano with an absolute banger with the outside of his left foot incredible goal into the far top corner there for a bronze player to be scoring this actually turned out to be quite a high scoring game. You can see just before half time, we are going to go into the lead, hoofing it up the pitch, and Mustachio gets onto the end of it. I did say in the last episode that Mustachio has got four star skills and five star weak foot. He does have the four star skills, as you can see there, but his weak foot is actually only three star. I got myself a bit mixed up there. So we do pull into the lead just before half time in the 43rd minute, and then just after half time, we go and extend our lead a little bit more. Shirinzi, that terribly slow left winger that we picked up, the only one that we could in fact get. The only rare bronze Italian or City A or City B left winger on the game. So he's the only guy we could pick up. And he does actually do the business. A nice little finesse shot for us there. You can then see Pekar Risi. One of the only bronze centre-backs that we could pick up. So he unfortunately is really slow again. But there was only two centre-backs on the entire game that we could use. We do go up once more with a bit of a tramp goal. He did it to us and Shirinzi gets himself another goal in this game. So he is actually going to be, if we win the player that's evolving, as like I said, he is absolutely slow as hell and not the best of players at all. But Mustachio extends the lead once more and we are absolutely cruising in this game now. It is 6-2. We do a terrible bit of goalkeeping there. Throw it out basically straight to him and somehow he P-rolls along the floor. Keeper pushes it onto the post and then Park he do. I'm not going to put that to how you say his name, manages to get himself the goal. This guy started dicking around a bit, and he, we took it round this keeper, and his keeper comes in. I think that's Bogdan there with the biggest ginger barnet ever. No, it's not. It's a Korean guy, isn't it? I don't know what I'm talking about, but we took the penalty away with Mustachio getting himself his hat-trick, so... 7-3 in the first game, and like I said, Shirinzi is going to be the one that is evolving, as he is absolutely slow as fuck. But we are going to be evolving him into an absolutely incredible player. One of my favourite players that I have put into the team so far, and I'm going to say Gia Comelli is how you pronounce his name. This guy actually does have 4-star skills and 5-star weak foot, which is where I was getting mixed up with Mustachio. So we've got two absolutely incredible wingers in this team now. So, we are going to jump straight into another game, and this time we come up against an absolutely insane team. He has got the orange Gabbiadini up front, who is like 1.5 million coins. He's got Coyote, he's got an incredible squad, and basically we were just expecting to get absolutely dicked on. That Gabbiadini is meant to be absolutely unreal, and you can see him here. He just turns, absolutely no backlift, no movement of his leg, and just curls it around the keeper in the third minute, showing why he is worth an absolutely ridiculous amount of coins. There's then this Konai guy who bags himself a goal here, and he turns out to be an absolutely incredible player. I might have to pick him up and give him a try myself, as he does run a little bit riot and start scoring goals for fun. You can see that Konai flicks it over our head, plays the 1-2, gives it back to Gabbiadini, and then Gabbiadini is, of course, going to finish it with an incredible goal there. So we are getting the absolute sausage in this game, and you can see again, Konai running through, cuts inside, Cuts inside again, no idea how he's still got the ball, and he just finesses it underneath our keeper in the 74th minute. So, we get pissed off and do that thing that you can do with Pokemon. We are going to run from the battle, and hopefully we will get away self safely, which is what we have done. Which means we do not have to go back to the Pokemon Center, and we have escaped a lucky close call there. So, on to the next city is where we are going to be going. So, we're going to do a lot of exploring now, as I wasn't too sure where we are going to be going. And I'm just going to use this as an opportunity to talk to you guys a little bit now. There's been a couple of Pokemon Fifas that have come out in the past couple of in the past week or so the past few days and you guys usually absolutely love this series it gets loads of likes it gets about three to four thousand views so there's a lot of you that regularly watch it but i think sub boxes on youtube have been playing up a lot so if you want to go back and check out the prior episodes that you have probably missed no doubt as they've only got like two thousand views so about 50 percent of you have missed out on a couple of episodes of pokemon fifa so there'll be links to them down in the description if you want to go and get caught up and see which of the rare bronze players we did pick up and also 
also if you could leave a like on this video that'd be absolutely awesome as it does really help it me out helps my channel grow and gets this series out to people that haven't seen it before and also just lets me know that you guys are still really enjoying this series and want me to carry on with it but you can see there we actually picked up a moonstone now another thing i wanted to ask you guys about is with moonstones they can be used and i want to use them to get absolutely awesome players in this team but i wanted to get myself that orange gabbiadini like the guy that we played when i get gabbiadini use a moonstone on him and in comes the orange one but there isn't any on the market and he costs an absolute fortune so if any of you guys are on ps3 and happen to have an orange gabbiadini in your club as there is none of them up for sale the last time i checked Hit me up on Twitter, there's a link to that down in the description, and if you can lend me for this series, just for a few games, until well, about 10 games until I get it out of the way, that would be absolutely incredible. Now, like I said, we are carrying on with the Explorer, and we've been doing a lot of cutting here and getting rid of all of these bushes, so when we get through, eventually, hopefully we'll be getting into another battle, and we're just going to do a little bit of exploring, see what's up in this grass here, and you will see that we do get chucked into one. So, finally back into the FIFA, and you can see he's got an absolutely awesome team. He's got a silver BPL with um, Wilfried Zaha chucked in up front there. Don't know why he hasn't got the Manu version, but that is probably because he costs an absolute fortune. Now, you can see Jermaine Genius dribbling around the box. Gives it off to Gary Gardner, one of my favourite players on this game, as you'll know from the first series of Pokemon FIFA. And he just slots it under the, the keeper, <laughs> nicely giving him a 1-0 lead. But we do come back. Bit of near post OP from Testardi. It was an absolute god of a striker. And I would highly recommend picking him up and throwing him in your team. As we have now got a silver player in that first game that we got the absolute sausage in, it's because we are now playing in the silver tournament with a bronze team. As we have got one silver player in our squad, that is what we are going to have to be doing. But this guy we absolutely dominate, and that was a quality ball into the box and headed in by Bear Roggy, who was our left back for a quality little goal, putting us 3 1 up. We then go 4 1 up, a bit of terrible defender, and we managed to get the ball back to Giacomelli, or whatever the hell his name is, that new guy with the 5 star weak foot, smashing it into the far corner. So we're absolutely dominating, so total opposite of the first game and then to rub salt in the wounds Troyano, nice little chip ball and a quality little finish with the volley there into the bottom corner in the 57th minute and this guy gets pissed off like we did and he has run from the battle which means we are getting another evolution and this time it is going to be Pekka Risi that's evolving he's a pretty slow player like I said there was only two choices that we could get so we have gone and evolved him into an absolute non-rare silver beast that is Santa Croque or however you say that guy's name but I would highly recommend you to him he is absolutely incredible but lads that is going to be the end of the episode we're getting on for about eight minutes now which is absolutely mental a really long episode so if you have enjoyed it I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button like I said go back and check in check out the episodes that you have probably missed with the sub boxes being messed up on youtube and apart from that lads i hope you have enjoyed it make sure you subscribe if you are new thanks for watching and i will see you next time